Well, today we crushed it. We got a ton done here. Um, got the dozer put to work. We stripped back the site. All the topsoil is gone. A little bit more to strip tomorrow morning. Um, got everything surveyed out this morning. The guys came early and staked everything out. Uh, so we're able to pretty much get right to work. Um, the plan here is basically continue stripping the rest of this topsoil out. Um, there's a ton of really, really good topsoil. We got a pile over here um, to the south end of the property and one over here at the east side. So when we do the house and we need to bring all the soil back, uh, we'll be able to just split it between these two piles. Uh, leach field is over here that's marked out, so we haven't touched any of that. That's got to stay virgin ground. Um, you know, you can't run the dozer over it or strip anything off that. So that just, uh, that'll stay as is. Um, I might come back here just with the mower, but we're towards the end of the season. Most of this will probably die out. Um, so yeah, we were able to get all this, this piled up. Um, the goal tomorrow, because now we need to bring a lot of dirt to get this filled up to the grade we need it, but we want really good hard stuff um, from deep down in the ground. Um, we're not trucking anything in. We got enough uh, property and dirt on site that we could uh, make this happen. So what we're gonna do is take the big excavator tomorrow, start heading into the woods and come down. The property edge is tucked in there about 30, 40 feet um, from this ditch. So we're going to relocate the ditch all the way to as close as we can to the border of the property. And the goal will be get rid of any dead trees because they're just covered in poison ivy. Keep the big monster trees that we can and we're not going to get rid of any other trees that we don't need to. So if something is in the way of the ditch, obviously we're going to have to get rid of it. But there's some really big cottonwoods in there. Uh, we're going to keep. Uh, the other thing will be we have to just take down just a few of the tall ones. Most of these are dead wrapped in poison ivy. We have to take down a few of them. They could possibly fall onto the house. So um, it's it, this is it's it's worked out very well. I mean, we had a plan going into all this, obviously, but you know, once you get into it, you originally the plan was to just move the ditch over out of the way of the house, maybe just 20 feet. But then we realized after it got staked out that the edge of this ditch is literally 70 feet from the property line. And I said, you know, at that point, I'm losing a lot of property over there that could be used. Um, but you can't access it because this ditch is so massive. Um, so we're really going to just relocate the entire ditch all the way over there. Well, probably there's a culvert pipe that comes in from the road there. And there's one way in the back that meets up with the other ditch that runs uh, perpendicular to it. So um, what we'll do is keep the end points connections the same. But we're just going to, you know, swing the ditch over that way, hug the border. And uh, again, come back to that pipe way down there and... Um, that'll gain me tons of room. Originally, I thought if I ever wanted to build a pole barn, you know, I have no choice but to put it over here in the field. Um, but it's kind of sticking out. It'll stick out like a sore thumb. You know, it ruins the view over here that's really nice. So, you know, what's awesome is now I actually have the option of maybe even putting it over here one day. Um, I'm going to have at least 80 feet probably from this point where I'm standing to... The edge of the property, you know, you do need an offset, maybe 20 feet or so, but um, that'll, I could fit a, a pretty big building in there, no problem. So that's great. Uh, really glad that's worked out. So yeah, everything's going really good. Um, like I said, the goal is just, once we clean out that and dig the new ditch, we're going to get rid of the topsoil on top of the ditch, but we will take any good clean dirt, bring it over to this side, and uh, start building up this pad. The goal will be, we have an elevation... Uh, grade stake over here that is let's go check that out so this is the back corner of the garage at this pink flag and this would be the grade right here so this is top of finished floor um, so if you look out obviously you can't tell on here on camera but basically around the middle of the property or where the, the slab will be going might be very close to finished floor so that's really good um you know so we'll have to build up all around here like i said the corner of the garage is here we're actually going to be pushing the whole house that way um but yeah i mean we got everything set up here to do what we need to do 
um, and we're just going to keep going at it. And like I think I said in previous video, the goal is to get this pad built up and let it sit for the winter season and really let it uh, settle in, get packed down from the rain, the snow sitting on it, um, you know, let nature sort of do its thing so that we're not pouring uh, concrete on top of uh, fresh packed dirt, even though you certainly can. I mean, you, you do not need to wait it out, but um, we're in no rush to get this build done. We want to do it right and uh, take our time. So that is the goal. And for now, just keep cleaning up around here and uh, check back. We'll definitely have tons of videos on the progress, especially when we start getting into the wood line. That's going to be really cool to see this machine do some damage and uh, get a lot of work done. So go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. Um, keep tuning in because tons of videos coming up. And uh, if you haven't yet, definitely subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.